Hello everyone, it's me again. My name is Wang Fu. I'm eight years old. I live in Dallas City and I study at Lakeland Primary School. And as me here, today I'm gonna read my book. Hold it, and it gets rich quick. Only one pearl's beauty. Holy Henry runs away. Holy Henry was not having a good day. His younger brother, Perfect Peter, had grabbed the hammock board and couldn't get it out. The mom had ordered him to tie his wrenches when he was watching rapper Zapper on TV, <coughs> and now Dad was yelling at him. What's the meaning of this letter, Henry? Said it. Dad, what letter? Snapped Henry. He was sick and tired of being nagged at. He never purposely went to watch letters. Well, that letter from Miss Banana's the third this week. Oh, that's a letter. Dear Henry's parents, I'm sorry to tell you that today Henry poked William, tripped Linda, solved Dave, pinched Henry, made Ruth loses, chewed gum, and would not stop talking in class. Your sincerely, Monica Badwell. Henry scowled. Can I help it if I have to burp? And what about the children? You heard said that I hardly touched William. They never got in my way, and they Andrew annoyed me. And what the week was all over. nothing. Right, said that I'm very disappointed with you. No TV, no commission, no Swiss for we a week screen, Andy. For giving someone a little chat, it's not fair. What's my mother said? Peter, dear Peter's parents, I am delighted to tell you that today, Peter helped Gordon share with Sam volunteers to clean the pens, brushes, pick up the balls in PE, and tidy the classroom with us being asked. Well done, Peter. He is in the good school board. For the third time this month, screen record. Your sister Lydia Lovely. Doug Glow. At least one child in this family knows how to behave. Peter smiled modestly. You really should think about more about other people. And he said, Peter, that maybe one day you will be in a good as gold book. Horace and Miss Nard and leaped on Peter. He was primordial slime oozing over trapped insects. Yeah! I was Peter. Stop it! And he said it, Mom. Go straight to the room now! Horace and Miss Nard upstairs to the school bedroom. I slammed the door. Just a scream, Henry. No one in this family likes me, so I'm leaving. He shouts horrible parents. He would run away to the jungle. He would bite giant snakes, crush crocodiles, and paddle alone up Piranha, Piranha, and fisty rivers. I can swim through the vines and did it never ever come back. And then they just be sorry, so some right for being so mean to him. He could see them now. If only we just be nicer to him, that would cry. He is such a lovely boy, Mom would say. Why always we so cruel to him? If only Harry would come home, he could always have a hammock. Peter would whimper. Why was I so selfish? She really thought Henry, ragging his suitcase from under the bed. That I won't be here to see them all wailing as nationally teeth. Right, he thought, I will only pack things I absolutely need. Lean and mean was the motto of heroic Henry Jungle Explorer. Henry survived his room. What could then he leave without? He just sleep his gracefully grab box and dirt and ring case. To the back went the box and the case. His super soakers. Two hundred well blasters would define definitely come in handy in a while. And of course lots of games in case he got bored of fighting Panthers. Comics and considered definitely. He stuffed a big stack in his bag. 
a few packets of crisps and some sweets would be good, and a box of very glow slime. And he certainly didn't want Peter getting his sticky fingers on its brushy slime. Teddy, now Teddy wouldn't be any use where he was going. Perfect, thought Henry. Then he closed the bulging case. It would not shut very reluctantly. Henry took at one comic and his football. There, he thought, it would be all at dawn and wouldn't they be sorry? Cheat, cheat, Herrick and Jungle Explorer opened his eyes and leaped out of bed. The early birds were chirping. It was time to go. He flung on his jungle gear. Then sneaked into Peter's room, crossed over to Peter's bed and pinched him. Wow, wow, muttered Peter. Shut up and listen, whispered Henry fiercely. I'm running away from home. If you tell anyone I'm gone, you will be really sorry. In fact, you will be dead. I wouldn't tell, sweet Peter. Good, said Henry. And don't you dare touch anything in my room either. Hold Henry crossed down the stairs. Bang, bump, bang, bump. Suitcase clunked behind him. Last, Henry was safely down the stairs. Cause he opened the back door, slant in the misty garden. He was outside. He was free. Goodbye, civilization, thought Henry. So he needed to be steaming down the Congo in short of adventure. Of course, I would need a new name, thought Henry as he began his long trek. Stop, Mom and Dad tracking me. And Henry, in your bed, shunned good. He ran a party also had a nice break. And I will need to disguise myself too, thought Horace Henry. Thought Henry. He just waited until he got to the jungle for that. He stole a quick glance behind him. No short party was after him so far. Henry walked and walked and walked. His suitcase got heavier and heavier and heavier. Phew! And it was getting a bit tired dragging the case. I feel I like I've been traveling for miles, thought Henry. I think I'll stop and have a little rest at a secret hide. Hide away. No one will find me there. Horrid Henry clambered into the tree as and stayed on something squishy. Ah! screamed Henry. Ah! screamed squishy thing. What are you doing here? Snap. Ordinary, what are you doing here, Snat Moody Margaret? I ran away from Oh, you must know, said and so have I. And this is my key, I said Margaret. Go away. I can sit here if I want to, said Henry, seeing that on Margaret's sleeping bed. I'll get out my legs, said Margaret, pushing me off. And don't think for a minute, I will let you come with me, said Henry. You can come with me either, said Margaret. So where are you going? The Congo, said Henry. He didn't know for sure exactly where that was, but he just wanted. Yuck, said Margaret. Who does want to go there? I'm going somewhere much better. Where, smarty pants? asked Henry. He asked Margaret about a plant for his last biscuit. Susan's hat, said Margaret. Henry snorted. Susan's hat, that's not running away. It is too, said Margaret. It isn't. Tis, tis, tis. The sleds here all night, said Margaret. Where do you sleep? And he added the distance between Lisa and Margaret's biscuits. Whistling nonchalantly, her stayed in the opposite direction. The quick as rush snatch. Henry grabbed a handful of biscuits and stopped in his mouth. I just my running away food, said Margaret. Not anymore, said Annie, snickering. Right, said Margaret. She grabbed its case and opened it, and then he held it without. That's all the food you brought, she sneered. I just like to see you get to the jungle with that and all those comics. I will bet you didn't even bring a map. Oh, yes, said Henry. I was a children. Margaret opened the suitcase and snuggled it with soft clothes. I don't sneak clothes in the jungle. Anyway, I thought of running away oh, first. Cheers. Henry didn't said Henry. Margaret did said Henry. I'm going to challenge your mother when you are, said Margaret, and you will be in big trouble. If you dare, I will, I will straight over and take yours. That will tell her you said yeah, last night what you'd be in trouble then. In fact, I will go and tell her last night. I'll tell yours first, said Margaret. Stood up laughing at each other. 
A fancy friend made a smelly stick into the tree as it smelled like some cooking and sniff. What's the smell? Now it's the pancakes. She said pancakes on the very on the endless favorite breakfast. Who says? Margaret sniffed again. Yours, she said, Sally. Yummy. That usually all in my pancakes on special occasions. What would be happening? She never had a terrible thought. Could it be they were celebrating his departure? There's a one either soon put a stop to that. Henry climbed the edge of the tree as and ran home. Mom, Dad, I'm back. He said, where are my pancakes? They are all gone, said Mom. All gone? Why didn't you call me? said Henry. You know I love pancakes. We did call you, said Mom, but you didn't come down. We thought you didn't want anyway. Want any. But I wasn't here with Henry. He glad the Peter. Perfect. Peter went on eating his pancakes a little faster. His arm protecting his plate. Peter knew it. I wasn't here, said Henry. Then he lunged for Peter's plate. He screamed and held on tight. Henry said, it would scare me if I told you. So I didn't say right straight to that, Peter. Harry, let's go up that place and not be so hard to our brother, said Dad. Harry, let's go. There was only half a pancake left anyway, and it had Peter's yucky girls all over it. All right, so I'll make another batch, he said, lifting up. Harry was very surprised. Thanks, Dad, said Harry. Sit down at the table. A big steaming stack of pancakes arrived. Harry poured lashings of marble syrup on top. They stuffed each bowl of buttery pancakes into his mouth. Yummy! He just has for the Congo tomorrow. Goodbye, friends. See you later.